What's happening, everyone? Welcome to G-Ball Vision. I hope you are having an awesome day today. We have an exciting unboxing to get into, and we'll use what I had in the pocket today, the Quiet Carry Drift in Vanex, super clean with the micro-milled titanium scales, deep carry wire pocket clip. If you have not checked out a Quiet Carry and you are into EDC knives, and gear this is potentially a knife that would last you for the rest of your life it, there's no question and this thing is a slicing machine super thin uh blade stock super thin behind the edge it has incredible action uh it's just a wonderful knife you'll never have to worry about corrosion it's just a, a phenomenal knife and it's just so well done so comfortable i love this thing and i remember that every time i get it out so let's go ahead and hop into this thing so this does come from one of my best pals in the whole wide world javon john over there at javon's knife flicks that is his youtube name highly highly recommend going over and checking him out one of the kindest dudes that i have ever been in contact with uh he's a great dude he makes great content every morning i look forward to his videos that he he uploads a video every morning and i watch every single one of them i'll link his YouTube down below, maybe his Instagram as well. I highly recommend going over there and checking him out. If you have not, uh, boy, he hooked this up. He sent a bunch of swag over, a couple different stickers. Look at all this stuff. Javon's got it. He's got it going on over there. Look at all these. Look at that. He's got it going on over there. Holy hell. Thank you, dude. That is awesome. Some of those I will keep, and some of those will go into some giveaways. So that is awesome. Uh, so I won this knife from Javon. Uh, I don't remember if it was a member's giveaway or if it was a just normal live stream giveaway. I I do not remember, but what we have here is some penises, and we have a Kaiser Mini Critical, or Critical Mini, however you want to say that, and this is from one of my favorite designers, actually, Matthew Christensen. I have a couple of his designs. He's very well known for the Maverick S, which is a Riot OEM project. And he does some different things with Civivi, Kaiser, and I think some other companies as well. But this knife is an exceptional EDC knife. You have some wonderful micarta here. Kaiser always nails the micarta. Nice little pivot collar here both sides deep carry pocket clip the screws have been recessed the pocket clip has not been recessed it's not reversible you do have a lanyard hole titanium backspacer i believe that is now i have checked one of these out before yeah it's titanium or aluminum at least looks like it's titanium though could be g10 yeah, maybe that's, I don't know. Can't tell what that is. That might be G10 even, gray G10. Not 100% sure, but what the most killer thing about this knife is. Ooh, it's coming in CPM 3V, guys. 3V. And that is a hard hard use steel very tough stuff typically it's found in fixed blades you know bigger fixed blades b 
because of its toughness characteristics, it is an excellent knife steel. A lot of people would argue it's not meant for folders. Others would argue that, you know, it is. So, and I'm kind of, it doesn't need to be just for fixed blades. So I fall on the side of, you know, 3V can go on, on whatever knife, you know, you want. Uh, folder, doesn't matter. Slip joint, it can even go on the Riot Exo, which is a gravity knife. It's just very tough stuff. I also carried this today. Love the Riot Exo. Love the 3V steel. Uh, this is just an incredibly good EDC knife. You have that beautiful Warncliffe blade. I love it. Look at that straight edge. You can tell Javon carried this knife because you can just see kind of the patina in the micarta. But it gives it that characteristic, you know, that that used look but you can tell that he's taken extremely good care of this thing i don't see barely any signs of wear on the blade some minor stuff but nothing that you know raises any flags or anything like that and not that i would complain about some wear and tear on a giveaway knife i I'm just saying that it is looking like this thing is in almost pristine condition. Now, I believe these are still available from Kaiser. Uh, and I think there are two or three different versions. I think they make one with studs. I think they make one with hole, a hole. Don't quote me on that, but I know there are some other versions, and I don't know if they're all in 3V, but I know there are some different configurations. They're not just flippers. So if flippers are not your thing. They do make this exact knife with either thumb studs or a hole or both. I'm not 100% sure. Uh, it's been a while since I've looked at these. It has great ergos though. Nice neutral handle. This thing is nice. Got some heavy duty jimping up there. Yeah, this thing is ultra comfortable. Great for an index style grip. Speaking of that, why don't we see what kind of edge is on here? Now, I don't know if Javon sharpened this thing. I don't know if this is still the factory edge. Uh, any of that type of stuff. I'm assuming, knowing Javon like I do, I'm sure that he, I'm sure he used this thing. I know he did. I know he carried it. I know he used it. But I'm also sure that he took extremely good care of it. Uh, it almost looks like it might be the factory edge, but not 100% sure about that. Either way, whether it's factory or his, it is nice and slicey. I don't feel any snags. Yeah. This thing is on point sharp. That is awesome. So we can go ahead and we'll grab some specs quick. It's going to be a three inch overall blade with like two and seven eighths a cutting edge and then we're looking at like seven a quarter all the way down here to the lanyard hole backspace or combo throw it up against a knife or two we got the quiet carry drift we have the vero mini impulse or impulse mini Boy, those are some dead on, those are some close comparisons without even trying. I'll throw the Riot XO up here just for fun. So it's, it's in that mid-size range. Uh, it's not a small knife by any means, and it's not a big knife 
by any means. It's a little bit bigger than the Drift, and I mean just slightly. They're very close uh, in size. The access to the liner is phenomenal, and they give you some nice jimping on there. I prefer a chamfer, but when it's this accessible and the jimping on it is this good, this is perfectly fine with me. And that detent, the action is very good. This thing is tuned up nicely. Nice and snappy, drops to your thumb, and then it just buttery smooths going home. Woo -hoo -hoo. Yeah. So this thing, uh, you don't see a lot of people carrying these. At least I don't. And I'm not sure if it's just because they're a little bit older, you know, and Kaiser puts out so many different models every month. It seems like they're coming out with a new model and things tend to get buried that way in a sense. You know, when these came around, these were a hot ticket item. 3V, Micarta, Warncliffe, you know, it had all the, the bells and whistles. Uh, but this thing is a phenomenal EDC knife. It would make a great work knife as well. You know, just make sure you keep a little, little oil on that blade or a little bit of a protectorant, you know, on that blade just to help, you know, make sure you're not going to be getting any corrosion spots, rust spots, that sort of thing. Unless you don't mind a, a patina on the blade, then, you know, leave it as is. And before we head out, I also have just a small envelope to open up. This comes from another fellow good buddy, uh, Mike Curtis, which everyone pretty much in the knife community knows Mike. He has been a huge supporter of my channel since I started, uh, and he watches every video he comments on every video every short you know he likes every video it's just he's an incredible human being and he reached out to me the other day and he said hey would you want some mike curtis channel stickers and i said hell yes i do look at that and he has I don't know many people with more knives than I do. There's some, but he has, Mike Curtis has been collecting knives for a long time and he has a metric ton of knives from slip joints to regular folders to fixed blades. He has an absolute ton and he's an absolutely great dude. Uh, very well done stickers, man. They look really nice. These will be going up on my YouTube brethren sticker board that I kind of just designated. Uh, and some of these will be as too. So shout out to John Evans, Javon, as we call him. Shout out to Mike Curtis. Love both of you guys to death. I love all of you still watching this video. Thank you to all of you. Hit the thumbs up before you head out. Leave me a comment down below. Give a little shout out to Mike, little shout out to Javon. I'll link both their channels down below in the description. If you haven't checked them out, highly recommend going and checking out some of their content. If you are new and you are not subscribed, click that G-Ball Vision logo right there in the center of your screen or down below the video. I would love to have you here. And I'll throw up two new videos for you to check out. Highly recommend going and checking out some more G-Ball Vision videos. Love y'all.